Hey FTC teams, I'm Brian with Servo City, and I'm here to show you how to join Actabotics and Tetrix channel together. Very simple. All you need to do is grab some of our 625 to 770 adapters. As you can see here, I already have one mounted on the Actabotics channel. We flip it over here. On the bottom, I simply have one of our four screw uh, stainless steel screw plates. And let me go ahead and show you how to do this. The cool thing is, is that you can actually mount the channel to channel in several different configurations. I'm going to go ahead and mount it in a 45 degree, or excuse me, a 90 degree configuration. And there you go. It's as simple as that. You can utilize all the attributes of the uh, Tetrix channel as well as all the attributes of the uh, uh, Actabotics channel together. Now for those of you that simply want to utilize Actabotic components with the Tetrix channel, let me show you how to do that. All right, so what I have here is I've got two quarter-inch bore pillow blocks. I've got a piece of D-shafting. I've got a simple, one of our simple square flat plates. And of course, I've got our 625 to 770 adapters. I'm going to show you real quick how we bolt this on. Bolt it in line. Grab one more 632 socket head cap screws. Put that in the bottom. Tighten it up. And there you go. Now you can add all the Actabotic components to all of the Tetrix channel. So it's as simple as that, and you're ready to go. So any of the teams out there, if you have any questions on how to join Actabotics with Tetrix channel or Tetrix components in general, uh, just shoot us an email at techatservicecity.com. And be sure to like this video. And if you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you again.